Hello and welcome to another movie review here on my channel. Today we're going to look at the mod there is, which is basically a vampire movie. Apparently, <laughs> uh, yes, it is a vampire movie basically uh, based on a book, if I remember correct, uh, correctly, uh, by Rachel Clay. Klein. And it's from the director of American Psycho. Yes, indeed. Not there is basically a story about uh, which girl, Rebecca, that is after her father's death, uh, is mourning this. She's a little bit sadder than she usually is, what I understand. And she returns to her private school. Returns or started at high school. I think she basically returns. Uh, and there she is with her friends. They are partying, having fun, and everything. And later on, a new girl uh, starts at the school, and everything starts to go downhill basically. This new girl is what I understand in the end is a vampire. And she is basically killing off and seducing or get rid of all of Rebecca's friends during the running time. And in the end, it turns out that she actually was... Uh, well, when the school basically was in a hotel, she actually lived there and she took her life. And during the movie, you actually see Rebecca thinking about taking her life, which is a big, little bit deep in my opinion. It is somewhat sad and somewhat out of context in my opinion to the story but it gives you more drama to the storyline in altogether they continue and continue and Rebecca's best friend that she's roommate with are basically well, falling in love with this new girl uh, according to the blu-ray uh, she is in love with her best friend. That never basically is said, or well, it you could see that somehow when they talk together, they actually are trying to have fun together and everything. But it's never basically said or right out. It is just it sort of just happens to be that way <laughs> somehow. Uh, and yeah, in the end, her best friend basically dies and she blames the new girl. Well, it is the new girl's fault, basically. And she basically kills her with fire. <laughs> uh, and in the end, she you see her basically being taken to for questioning at the police station. Because, well, in the movie, you can looks kind of weird because they just taken him for questioning because she has just walked from the house basically and they basically accuse her for burning down the school yeah that is the basic story it is a little bit deeper but what I can see about this movie it is, is that it should have been more of a twin drama <laughs> when you think about it the vampire stuff doesn't basically had to be there of course the supernatural thing that people are getting killed off and everything is supernatural but it seems out of context to the overall storyline which is basically uh, a girl that is trying to get over the, well trying to live with that her father basically took his life and is basically thinking about doing it herself uh, when it comes to this vampire chick, she, as I said, when the school was a uh, school before, uh, or a hotel, I mean, and she was uh, in, she basically lived there and took her own life. And now she's, in the end, you will know that she's basically trying to make Rebecca take her own life by doing all these bad things in her life to her friends and to the ones she loves. That is kind of a good twist in my opinion, but when I'm for 
finish watching this movie the, all, all the time I basically thought this could have been a much better thriller if it actually was in Rebecca's head all the time. A little bit like Shutter Island kind of movie. Yes, it would have been probably not, will not have been as well. Well, it was based on a book basically, and it shouldn't have followed the book altogether. But it should have been a better movie, in my opinion. Overall, this feels uh, like a teen drama or a girl drama trying to live a life, trying to find love and everything. It is all about that. And I'm not one of the target audience <laughs> to this movie, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, I think it's a good movie if you like, well, dramas, in my opinion. It's not really a thriller or a horror genre. Horror. That is wrong. <laughs> it's the, the forest, it comes when it comes to horror, it's basically the uh, vampire shake, actually, or girl, uh, trying to kill Rebecca or make her take suicide. That is the most horror. I will may maybe call this a thriller for the most part. Uh, of course. The moth there is, uh, the moth is basically this vampire girl when she basically goes out and uh, she can transform into moths and that is how she transfers instead of be becoming a bat she becomes moths instead. Uh, good <laughs> exchange in my opinion but it didn't matter that much in this movie in my opinion. In fact, the environments, the environments are good. They are decent enough to be good, in my opinion. The effects are good. The ones that is there, there isn't that many effects in this movie because they are more of emotional kind of level when it comes to actually telling the story. They don't doesn't they don't really need that much of effects, in my opinion. The, the environments are good and the uh, storyline is decent when it comes to actually telling the story but when it comes to acting and characters it's going up and down uh, the lead characters the vampire girl and Rebecca as she's called I remember their name because it's the only name that stands on the back side <laughs> uh, they are the ones that actually act the best in my opinion the girls that are, are around them are a little bit less good in my opinion, they aren't as good when it comes to acting, but at least good in my opinion. Overall, this movie feels a little bit flat because the storyline isn't that interesting in my opinion. Uh, it could probably be because I'm not one of the target audiences, because this m is more target targeted at girls. <laughs> that is what I get out of it. Uh, it is interesting enough to actually watch it, but it's, it doesn't give you the intriguing storyline that you, you will basically want from a vampire movie. So, the rating for this movie are going to be 6.1 out of 10. And that's all for today, folks. Hope to see you next time. Bye.